There we go. Again. Again. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of iFish LI. So today I started out kind of multi-species fishing with no luck. Um, I lost my rig and I'm really far away from my car. So I'm just going to switch over to throwing some uh, bucktails and some other plugs and stuff. See if I can get on some bass or blues. Starting out with this one ounce SNS bucktail with a uh, fat cow jig trailer on it. Split five inch split tail. See if I uh, get any smaller bass or uh, blues. I'm using my uh, Tsunami Airwave um, eight foot medium heavy with Fluger Present XT. I still gotta get a different uh, reel for this rod. So let's get right into fishing. See if we can uh, pull up any blues or bass. So shortly after tying on that bucktail, I actually snapped it off by casting it off. Is is real? There's something wrong with the bale. But I switched over to a bass assassin on a three-quarter ounce jig head, which has been doing pretty well for me lately. Getting some cocktail blues and bass on that. I'm just working it, reeling it in like a medium retrieve, and just jigging it every once in a while. Shortly after tying that on, I got that stuck and lost that too. That makes two lures now that I've lost already. I switched over to a white mag darter and I was just working this uh, like a medium retrieve. couldn't cast this super far because of a strong south wind. But as you can see that didn't really matter too much because my second cast after I tied this on hooked up. It's a decent fish. I can't tell. I can't tell if it's bass or blue. It's blue. He's a blue fish on. Run. 
there he is. No idea I'm gonna land. Try and pull him up on the rock. That was an asshole. This fish was pretty hard to land. I kept getting him stuck in the rocks. I like got him out, got him back stuck again. I ended up losing this fish in the rocks and losing another plug. I won't bore you guys with the rest of the um, fight with this fish. It's mostly just me trying to get him out of the rocks. Fish is still hooked from wrapped around. I don't know what to do. That's it all. Yep. He hit it really close though. Yo, again, again, dude, that's nuts. Oh, it, it. I'm not gonna have you out there. <laughs> it's a bass, it's a bass. Yeah? yeah. Dude, where should I flip, try and flip him up? Like yeah, here? Dude, that was my first cast when I switched to this, and I didn't even get a lot of distance on it. That's nuts. Have you caught anything on that? I think it's okay to release them in that. Before I switched to the bomber plug that I got that bass on, I was telling my friend that I thought that the um, fish really wanted uh, like the wobbling action that the uh, bomber and the mag darter has, and I guess I was right because my first cast with the bomber, I hooked up. And, but shortly after, I ended up losing that plug too. I lost over like $40 worth of lures in this video. It was really frustrating, but I restocked uh, all the plugs that I lost anyway. Some guy told me like, like every single cast people were calling them off. That's going to be all for today's video. I just ended up landing one small schoolie striper on the bomber plug. Lost a decent, like, five-pound bluefish, maybe, on a uh, mag darter. I also lost, like, four other plugs, well, lures, which cost me, like, 40 bucks. It's okay. I restocked on those now. Um, yeah, there's going to be some more cool videos coming soon. I got... This, I'm getting some cool underwater footage at some piers and stuff, so stay tuned for that. Uh, all the gear I used in today's video will be linked in the description. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And, yeah, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next video.